That might mean that you want to sit up on a little support so your block could already be incorporated, sitting up tall from the earth so that you can really lift up from the earth. And we will begin turning our palms up on the knees. We can begin to invite yourself into the space that you are giving you with open palms, open hearts. So inhale and really lift the breath into your heart. And we'll open the mouth as we exhale and shrug the shoulders back and down to clear away any tension you may have carried into the mat, into your space. And again, biggest inhale in through your nose, fill side ribs, side lungs, the collarbones. And a big sign, exhale to further melt the shoulders back and down. We'll sit quiet for a few moments if you haven't already closing down your eyes. Closing down your eyes and also tuning your inner ears more inward. In doing so, you can really take this moment to take a pause, to draw within to stop for a few moments, letting go of your to-do list, letting go of anything that might be going on today. Set it all aside and know that this is your time that you've carved out for you to be present, to be wholeheartedly in your body, giving yourself some loving and healing attention. So with gratitude, we'll drink in our next breath and you could pause at the top of the breath and enjoy the quiet that that pause brings. And then very slowly exhaling out your nose as slowly as you can, like you're savoring your exhale and pause at the bottom of your exhale. Enjoy the stillness there. And then again, drinking in a slow rising breath through the nose. Let's pause for the count of three, two, one. And then exhale slowly for six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause, three, two, one. And then inhale for six, five, Four, three, two, one. Pause, hold, three, two, one. And exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause, three, two, one. And then just inhale your biggest breath. Hold again at the top. Sigh out our exhale and join our hands into Anjali Mundra and further bow to look within to this very wise place of our heart that guides us to our practice, guides us to take this pause in our day, to give to ourselves, which will equally have a profound effect on our ability to serve or show up for others. To honor this within each other, let's begin with just a single ohm. Inhaling. Oh. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, arms overhead. On your exhale, lower your arms and cross your right elbow under your left and give yourself a big hug, a nice warm embrace, snuggle into your heart. And keeping the elbows connected, lift your arms and try to wrap your forearms, wrists and palms together in that shape for eagle. Lift your fingertips up and open your throat. Then exhale, hug the arms towards you and begin to look more forward or even bow slightly. 
And then from here, keeping the cross of your elbows, just lower your hands towards your thighs and just round into yourself. Take this pause of reflection inwards. And then inhale, sweep your arms out wide. It begin, big expanse of fullness in the heart. And then exhale, take your left elbow under your right and give yourself a warm embrace. Snuggle into the openness of your heart. And then keeping the cross of your elbows the same, begin to wrap your forearms, maybe your wrists come together in your palms. Reach your fingertips up and open your throat. You could lean just a bit back. And then bringing your arms into you again, look forward or slight bow. Again, keep the crossing of your elbows and lower your hands to your thighs and just curl in again. Inhale, big expansive breath, arms open wide. And then we'll just slowly lower the arms down as you exhale all the air out. From there, we're gonna meet in downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Don't feel rushed. You can be there for a little bit. The first down dog, it's always nice to take some time to really pedal out your legs. So give yourself that time. You can pedal out your legs. You could also move your head side to side, shaking out your head, broaden and open further across your shoulders. And perhaps close your eyes down. First upside down moment probably of your day. So just enjoy this time of bowing head to heart or ego to compassion. Taking again this pause to so just be with the breath that's flowing into your back body with ease like a river through the spine, down your legs. We'll take another breath. And then we're gonna to begin to tuck the tail and shift forward into a strong plank position. Begin to wake up your core muscles and really tone your quadriceps. You could imagine your heels could push right against a baseboard or against a wall to further engage your legs and your core. Then send your sit bones back up, wide open palms, exhale your head through your arms. And then a couple more times, inhale forward into a strong plank position. Open your throat, gaze out in front of you. Shifting then again back to downward facing dog, exhale. Once more, we'll shift forwards into plank. Pause here in the strength and balance. And then shifting back, Adamukha Swanasana. From there, we're gonna lower our knees to the earth and prepare for a puppy pose. So keep your hips lifted, slide your hands out, surrender your forehead to the earth and broaden your upper shoulders. So the shoulder blades naturally might wanna kinda of come in towards each other out of habit. So pull them apart, widen and broaden more into the armpit chest, widen and broaden more across your hands, thumbs and fingertips. And then from there, begin to elevate your head from the floor. We're going to thread the right arm under the chest. Your palm could be facing up, pressing your chin and rock to the back of your head, stretching the upper back muscles even further. You might even add wrapping the left arm behind your back to opposite hip. So just breathe the breath into any tightness of your shoulders. Clear it away. And then let's just return to a puppy pose. So slide your hands again forward, resting forehead to earth, broaden shoulders wide apart, surrender heart. Then lift your head so you can now thread your left arm across the mat. You can tuck in your chin, rock more to the back of your head, your right arm stretching forward, or maybe it wraps behind you. Either way, breathe a breath into the shoulders that tend to carry a lot of our worry and stress or tension. 
Clear it out as you exhale. And then from there, we'll return to our puppy pose for a moment. And then we're gonna just come up to an all fours position, stacking shoulders over wrists for cat cow. So inhale, sway your back. Exhale, round your back and coil in and pause at the bottom of that exhale. And then inhale, sway your back and pause at the top of your inhale. Exhale, sigh all the air out, pause, emptiness. Drink in your inhale, complete breath, pause, fullness. Again, exhale, empty, empty, empty as you curl in and pause. Return to fullness as you inhale, sway your back, look all the way up, pause. Now just stay here, keep breathing, tuck under toes and return to Adamukha. Swanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, forwards into plank. Exhale, start to bend the elbows and gradually lower down, belly, chest and chin. Grounding forehead, grounding feet. Roll the shoulders back, Bhujangasana. Exhale, surrender forehead back to earth and take your hands behind you with interlocked fingers for Salambhasana. Pulling your fists back, lifting your feet up, pulling your shoulders back. Be here, we'll pause continually in the fullness of our inhales and enjoy that very full and open space. And then feel that as you exhale, you might be able to come up even higher. One more breath. Exhale, forehead down. Plant your hands, tuck under your toes, strike your thigh bones up, inhale, plank. And exhale, return to Adamukha Swanasana. Being here, we're gonna walk our feet to a touch. Inhale the right leg back behind you, just at the height of your hip, and really push your heel back like it's gonna find a wall. Then pointing toes, inhale the leg up. Exhale, hug down center, forehead to knees here, curled in. And then again, inhale, extend up and back. Exhale, coil into center. Again, inhale to reach up. And exhale to coil in. Now we're gonna look forward and step through for a high lunge. Rise up on your fingertips and then begin to lift your arms overhead. Staying connected to the strength in your back leg as you lift. Let's be here, look forward, and take your arms behind you, interlacing your fingers and pulling your fists back, further lifting the fullness of your heart up, pausing here as you nestle back your head. And then we're gonna take the fist over to our left hip bone and sweep the left arm up and over the ear, further encouraging openness, a feeling of being more bright and expansive in the side groups and lungs. Then hovering over right thigh. Exhale, left hand down, maybe to the support of a block, runner's twist, float, right arm to sky, and then allow the right arm to fall into the spaciousness behind you. Just drop into that open space. Reaching right arm overhead and deepening that sensation of a twist. One more breath. Exhale, left knee and right hand down for a low lunge on Janiyasana, sweeping arms overhead. Relax the tongue off your upper palate, softening the upper palate so you can breathe more deeply through the sinuses. Exhale, hands to earth. Let's move into half splits. Ardha Hanuman. So you might want to block under each of your hands. Slide your hands forward and take this beautiful bow into your heart. Take this beautiful bow into a nice pause, a surrender, 
a moment of just being exactly here. Clear the mind. One more breath. Now from here, walk your hands under shoulders and return to a balancing cat with right leg. And, or we didn't go here yet. This is the first time today. Let's come into balancing cat. Right leg and left arm extends out. And then pull down middle and extend out again. Draw down center, extend out, pause, pull into center, extend out, pause. Now from here, just put your left hand down, push your right knee behind your left. You may wanna bring a block with you. We're gonna sit all the way back into Gomagasana. So you wanna have your heels on the outsides of your hip bones. And sitting on a block might be really necessary if you can't quite get to the floor. We'll roll the shoulders back, inhale, and exhale, come forward any amount. So maybe for you, just sitting more upright feels better. Your hands can stay reaching in the back plane, or you could bring them into the front plane, whatever feels better. I just want to try to nestle in to your hips, beginning to send them some warmth. Pausing with your attention directed into your hips. Wholeheartedly being here. And allowing the breath to be like a wave of energy that's flowing into the hips, into the IT bands, that's clearing anything that feels stagnant or stuck. Another breath. And then let's begin to come up. We're gonna come into Ardha Matsya and Drasana. So you can most likely just sit on the floor now, ground the sole of your left foot, lifting the knee. We're gonna twist, left hand back, right arm reaches, cross that arm to the outside of your knee. Sitting taller into your next breath and twisting further into your exhaling breath, eyes looking to the corners. Again, sit really tall as you inhale. Twist deeper as you exhale. One more breath here. Let's unwind, head, neck, and shoulders. Take a counter twist. Come back to center. Walk your hands forward. We're gonna tuck under the back toes and lift the left knee and just kick the left heel back into this dog pose, flexing your foot, pushing your heel as if into a wall. And then hug the left leg down the center of you, coil. Inhale, extend. Exhale, coil. Take this moment of pause. Inhale, extend, and exhale, coil. We'll look forward, step all the way through, raise your fingertips up, and then lift your arms above you. Take a full deep breath, maybe further scooping up hard and even looking up. And we'll look forward and take the arms behind us. Interlace your fingers the opposite way, pull your fist to your knee, Lifting heart center more and nestling your head back, opening the throat by relaxing your tongue to low palate. And let's take our fist over to our right hip bone. We'll inhale this left arm up alongside the ear. Feel a sensation of a twist and the brightening of the breath moving into side ribs and lungs. And hovering over left thigh. I'm going to grab the left hand for a runner's twist. You could always plant the hand on a block. Revolve your shoulders, lift your left arm, let it fall into the space behind you, nice and heavy and open. And then explore reaching over your ear, further across your crown, deepening that twist. Exhale, right knee, left hand down, 
slow lunge, Anjani Asana, arms rise and head drop, deep breath. Exhale, hands to earth, Ardha Hanumanasana. Again, using the props that help you. So maybe a block under each hand. So there's the floor just being raised up to greet you where you are. Close your eyes. Slow down your breathing. So much so that you can comfortably pause at the bottom of every exhale for a moment or two before drinking in a slow inhale, and then again pause in the fullness of that breath for a moment or two, and feel how doing so allows you to exhale even slower and more completely. And from there, we'll walk our hands back under shoulders for a balancing cat, left leg, right arm extends out, big inhale. Exhale, draw into center. Inhale, reach out, you might look up. Exhale, draw back in. Inhale, expand. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, expand out, and then on your exhale, lower your right hand and crisscross your knees, preparing for Gormagasana. So now the right knee's in front and you're coming back. You again may wanna sit on a block for support. Whichever you choose, sit tall for a moment to really roll the shoulders back and then begin to take this bow forward. You can drop your chin or maybe your forehead on to the knee. Let your shoulders move down away from your ears and onto your back. And then being here and dropping your attention into your hips. Can you allow them to feel even more heavy? Can you encourage them to relax even further into stillness? Give them that invitation just to receive the breath and to melt. And then we'll gradually rise. We're gonna ground the sole of the right foot, preparing for a twist. Ardha Matsyandrasana, right hand back. Left arm reaches. Then crossing that arm to the outside of your knee, we'll slowly revolve to the right. Sitting taller into your next inhale. And twisting further into your exhale. And then we'll unwind head, neck, and shoulders, create a counter twist. And then come back to all fours. We're just gonna extend the left leg back, lift the right leg up and open to the right and circle your ankle around. You can move your head side to side, relax your neck. And then straighten your right leg and square your hips. I'm gonna hug the right thigh in, step through for a warrior one. So your back heel firmly grounds, little toe finds earth. Bring your left rib cage more forward, scoop up your heart, look up. Then exhale, hands again into an interlock behind your back, make a fist, pull your fist down, inhale. Exhale to humble warrior. Snuggle your shoulder inside your knee. Allow your head to drop towards your ankle bone. Sink into maybe a little bit deeper uh, lunge or hip opening. Take another breath. Then stamping into your back heel. Let's retrace our steps. Come all the way back up into your warrior one, arms floating overhead. Then open to a warrior two. You may have to adjust your foot placement a little bit more heel to heel, perhaps a teensy bit wider. Press your palms down into an imaginary surface and engage your triceps. 
reach to the left as much as you're reaching to right to so find balance here. Turning right palm up, we're going to reverse our warrior, sweep the skies, deep breath. And then exhale, windmill hands down, step back directly to plank. And then your choice, exhale to, to chaturanga to lower for cobra or chaturanga to come through to upward dog. We'll meet back in our downward dog and step together our feet. Inhale, left leg up, opening to the left. You could circle your ankle, maybe you shake out your head. Keep your shoulders nice and open. And then let's straighten the legs, square your hips. Look up and step through, warrior one. Your back heel firmly grounds, little toe finds the earth. Bring right side of your body more forwards. And we'll exhale the hands behind us. Interlace the opposite interlock, other fingers on top. Inhale. Exhale, dive forwards. Humble warrior. So shoulder inside the knee. Head towards ankle bone. Maybe you sink down a little bit further into your hip stretch. Bend your knee even more. But keep your back leg engaged. Thigh muscles strong to the bone. Staying grounded in back heel, let's rise again. Return to your warrior one. Arms float above. Then open out wide to Virabhadrasana two. Gazing with confidence to your left as you pull yourself to the right. Reach through and beyond the fingers, beyond the toes. Turning left palm up, we'll reverse our warrior, sweeping the skies. And exhale, windmill hands down, step back, plank. Drink in a big breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Your choice, inhaling cobra or upward dog. And then meeting back again in our downward facing dog. You might pedal your legs a few times. Shake out your head. Pausing here and just being in the lengthening of your down dog. And we're going to rise up high on our toes and look up. Walk or float up. Greeting hands, toes touch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Uttanasana. Let's speak in this Uttanasana. So again, you could come up to lengthen, maybe rise to fingertips or hands on shins and fold in further. We're going to do that once more. Inhale, just halfway up. Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, fold Uttanasana, shifting hips more over knees, over ankles as you rock your weight a little forward. And from here, we're going to bend the knees. Let's come into chair, Uttanasana. Holding Uttanasana, just lower your arms and take your right elbow under your left. Wrap your arms around each other and seal together your hands. Grounding the right foot, we're going to lift the left knee and cross it over right for Garadasana Eagle. Hook your toes if that's available around your ankle bone. Bring your right hip forwards and sink your sit bones down while sealing together all the joints that are touching, letting no daylight in between your elbows, wrist, palms. One more breath. Now stay really strong on your standing leg and make your way into a Virabhadrasana three, keeping eagle arms. You can even shoot your fingertips more forward, keeping this arrow of intention to focus, to be in this pause, this moment now. And then bend the right knee, step back and return to a high lunge. So let your arms now expand open and wide above you. Exhale, hands to prayer, and we'll take a twist, left shoulder, outside of right knee. 
Now, if you would prefer to put your left knee on the floor, you're welcome to do a low lunge twist that might feel more stable and even give you a better twist. Otherwise, keep the thigh bone striking up, push down through your palms, and look over your right shoulder. Some of you may want to sweep your arms really wide apart without slipping off that left knee. And maybe right arm goes overhead. Open your throat. Look into the direction of your reach. If you're not in a low lunge, let's come into that position together. Anjaniasana, lifting your arms above. Exhale, hands to earth. Step back to a three-legged dog that could turn into flipping the dog over. Or maybe you just stay in a three-legged dog. Circle out your ankle. Either way, just breathe into a place that feels spacious. And cleansing, clearing. We'll meet back in a down dog and perhaps move through vinyasa. You may also be feeling that the stillness of down dog is exactly what your body needs. So just be there. We will meet you there. Adamuka. Swanasana, taking a few deep breaths. Return to really slowing the breath down. Where again, you purposefully drink in your inhale and then pause and hold it for like two or three seconds. And then you slowly exhale until it's emptied out. Hold it out for a few seconds before drinking back in. It's in those pauses that you can find the sweetness of stillness, of quiet, of being present. Tap into that. It's such a gift. And from here again, we'll rise up on our toes, look forward, walk or float to greet hands and hold. Uttanasana. Bend your knees, finding chair. Ukkatasana. And then we're going to lower the arms and take the left elbow under the right and wrap your arms around each other. Then lifting up your right leg, crisscross your knees and see if you can hook your toes eventually around your ankle. Making your way here again into Eagle or Garadasana, the pose for focus, really clear, single pointed focus. Taking a pause before we move, creating strong intention to move with grace, with control, with intent. Now stay strong on that standing leg and move to your warrior three, reaching your fingertips more forward in that laser focus, deep breath, being in this pause of stillness. And then tap back and kind of feel like you've landed your bird and letting your arms then Float above, enjoying the expansion of your wings, the lightness of your heart. And so Anjali Mudra, and let's twist. Right shoulder is guided across, hands in prayer, push down through palms to lift your belly. And again, you may be finding that a low lunge twist feels so much better, so go there. It's all good. If you would like to, separate your arms wide without slipping off the knee, unfold your wings, and then explore the expansiveness of arm overhead. Open your throat. Know that you, it's always good to look into the direction that you're reaching. Your body will follow your gaze. Let's all come to a low lunge if you're not there. And inhale, sweep your arms overhead, lengthening out from the twist. Exhale, hands down, come into a three-legged dog. Lift and open. Maybe flip your dog over if that's in your practice. Otherwise, just stay in your three-legged dog a bit. 
Open out from center. Explore the fullness of your heart. And then you can move through a vinyasa, or again, you may find that it would feel better just to be in your down dog. We are going to meet there. But then for all of us, we're going to melt into a balasana child's pose. So take some time to pause and maybe just kind of reflect on all the movement, the shifts and changes that you've infused into your body so far in this practice. And again, just enjoy this time where you are being invited to really, really pause. And in that invitation, let's turn our palms up and just take a moment to visualize yourself moving through this day and see how you could incorporate taking pauses through your day as you move through all that's going to be on your plate today working with your children, with your family, with yourself. Can we remind ourselves and maybe take a pause when we're starting to feel out of sorts? If we feel that we're not showing up in our best light, taking that moment just to breathe, reconnect with the heart. And then instead of coming from a place that's reactive, it could be a place that's more of service. bringing our yoga practice off the mat. Go ahead and turn the palms down. Let's look forward, glide through to lay on your belly. We're going to take our arms out in front of you with finger, pinky fingers on the floor and lower your forehead. Take your legs and really lengthen them out so that your quads are already active in a way that allows your knees to lift. Take a deep inhale. Exhale and take flight. Lift, inhale. Exhale, lower and just place one hand on top of the other and bring your forehead there. We're gonna do that a couple more times. Extend your arms out, pinky fingers on earth, inhale. Exhale, lift, soar off the mat. Be here and inhale. Exhale, lower, place the other hand on top and bring your forehead to your hands. Let's do that again. Take your pinky fingers to the floor. Drink in a big inhale. Exhale, soar off your mat. Be here and inhale. And then exhale, rest your right hand on top and forehead. Right there. And from here, we're going to come up onto our forearms, having the right arm in front of the left arm. And then you're gonna slide your elbows to each other. And just keep sliding them then away from each other as far as you can. Maybe you can come forward with your chin over your tricep. And just be here, take a pause, breathe into your belly. Send your awareness, focus to your shoulders. Mm, give them some love. Maybe your arms slide even further across. Another breath. And then slowly slide your arms back and let's switch. So the left arm is in front and just do this again. Take your elbows to each other and then away if that's possible. Eventually it's like your shoulders are trying to touch. And you just fold forward and close your eyes and take a deep, deep sigh and exhale and be. Just be here, melt, melt, let go. Might be a fairly intense stretch. See if you can soften around the edges. Let that intensity soften. Go right into more of the middle of the muscle and soften out from the center out. And 
And slide your arms again towards each other. Bring your forehead to earth. Don your rasana, bend your knees. Grab a hold of your ankles. Feel a strong kicking action into your hands. And then allow that kick to lift you. Maybe you gaze more upward towards the skies. Again, knowing your body will follow your gaze. Let's stay here for three. Kicking and lifting. Beautiful openness for two. One more big breath. Soften your jaw. And surrender. Let's return to a child's pose. Hands mid ribcage. Lift. Shift back again. Balasana. Surrender your brain. Close your eyes. Let go. And then know that you might just want to stay in child's a little longer. If not, come up to an all fours position. Make your way into down dog. And then from this down dog, choose your final vinyasa. Coming into plank chaturanga. Inhaling up dog. Exhaling down dog. So if you're in child's, come back into downward dog now. We'll be together here. And we'll walk our hands a little closer together. We're gonna bring the feet around the outsides of our hands and we're gonna squat down, coming into Malasana. So bring your hands into prayer position, press your arms into your legs and then feel the opposite happening as well, the resistance of your legs pressing back. Lift your sternum to thumbs and flower your fingers forward. Gaze off the tip of your nose. Maybe sinking down a little further into your hips as we take one more breath here. From here, we'll sit to the floor, make our way into a reverse table, grounding feet hip distance apart, lean back on your hands, fingers look to you, lift your hips and nestle your head back. Perhaps further clearing any stagnant energy out of your body with lion's breath. Just stick out your tongue and look behind you and do it again. <sighs> Lower down for Baddha Konasana. Your one or two blocks might be helpful here. Bringing the soles of your feet together and placing some support in front of you. Use your elbows to send your thigh bones down as you take this fold into yourself. And know that you, of course, could always at any moment maybe re-lengthen and fold in further. The support you're using might even shift. Your hands might go more forwards. Let's be here, several more slow, deep breaths, sinking deeper into the groin creases. Breathing the breath into your back. Letting your eyes be deeply closed. Letting your eyes drop into your sockets, into the pools of color in the eyes. Deep stillness. And with your chin tucked in, let's gradually come up. I'm going to take another forward fold, but Upta Vishta this time, Konasana, where you take your legs out wide in a V. You may feel that sitting up on some support is really helpful in this pose so that you can hinge at your groin creases. Again, add any support you might want to have as you fold maybe belly onto a bolster or your head onto the block support. If you're fairly open and you melt and surrender all the way to the ground, awesome, go for it. But just be wherever you need to be in the most honoring way, letting this practice feel both nourishing and rejuvenating as you deeply surrender. Keep your feet flexed, your quads active. 
We'll stay several more deep breaths. So again, you might even re-lengthen and then fold again. This little ocean wave of prana moving through your body, guiding you into further stillness, into further depth. Again, soften from the inside out. And from there, we'll gradually rise back up to center. You can take your hands under your knees, glide the legs in. We'll scoot up toward the short edge of the mat if you're not already. Take your arms in alongside the knees and lift your sternum. Slowly lower, one vertebra at a time, all the way down. And take a yawning stretch. Take the arms overhead, straighten your legs, point your toes and arch your back from the floor. Drink in a big inhale. And sigh your exhale. Let's hug then the right knee into the chest. Interlace your fingers around the shin. You could circle the knee out a few times to the right and into center line. And then just bring that knee into your shoulder nice and snug and continue to pull the shoulders off your ears. Notice if you're gripping your jaw, relax your jaw, your teeth from behind the ears, let go. Let's flow into a twist here, left hand, the outside of the knee. Cross that leg over and lower your knee toward the earth. Unfold your right wing to your side and turn your gaze to look that way. Let your shoulder feel heavier, more and more relaxed into gravity. Massaging your left rib cage further to your right rib cage as you deepen this twist. Then lay onto your back. I'm going to move to thread the needle, crossing the right ankle in front of the left knee. Threading through the keyhole of the legs, you can hug the left leg into your body, bringing your right shin closer to your chest. Again, remind your head and your shoulders to feel heavy and grounded here as you breathe into your hips. We'll stay a good length of time and where you are is a great place to stay or you might choose to extend your left leg, continuing to keep your hands where they are or to unthread them and walk higher and continue to guide the legs in towards you. Let's stay several more breaths. If you're deepening the stretch, you might naturally find that your tailbone and glutes come off the mat some. And finishing the breath you're on. We're going to hug the left leg in on its own and lower the right leg. Circle the left knee out and in a few times, out to the left and into center. And then just guide the knee in as close as you can to your shoulder, continuing to melt the shoulders down as you do. Your eyes could just gaze off the tip of the nose or you might close them down. And then right hand to the outside of your knee, you're gonna cross over center line, lower the knee, unfold your left wing out wide, turn your chin to the left, and exhale, surrender your shoulder blades to the mat. Breathe into your belly. Into your rib cage, into your lungs, surrender, unfold. Let go. Then lay on your back. Thread the needle, cross your left ankle in front of your right knee. Thread through the keyhole of your legs. Hug the legs in. 
guide the weight of your head and your shoulders into gravity. Let your whole body deeply surrender here. Again, you can move back to inhaling and then pausing at the top of the breath, holding that fullness, and then really let go a big and complete exhale. Send it into your hips like water and wash away whatever might feel tight or tense. Keep breathing in that way. And you could add to this a hamstring stretch on your right if you wish to. You might also add unthreading your hands and walking up higher. If so, again, you'll find that you could raise your sit bones and tailbone a little from the floor. From there, we'll move into a happy baby stretch, bringing your elbows on the insides of your knees, hands clasping the outer arches. Try to anchor your tailbone to the floor. And if you would like, take your legs out wider, again, like an Uttavishta Konasana, just supta, recline. Anchoring tailbone to the floor. Dropping head and shoulders to the floor. Breathing expansively into belly, ribs and lungs. And we'll slowly bring the legs together. Crisscross your right knee over your left. Supta Gomagasana. Have an overhand grip of your ankle bones. You might be able to raise your heels as high as your knees and then just send those shins towards you. Really deepening that stretch into your IT bands and mimicking that seated pose we did earlier. Release and crisscross left knee over, overhand grip of ankle bones again. Send those shins towards you, pull your shoulders down, release your jaw. Release your legs down, stretch your arms overhead, take another yawning, stretching, pull, stretch here in the body. Feel all those nice, clear lines of energy for prana to flow through. And we'll stay in that as we drop into Shavasana. Know that you can add in any support you might want making sure that your lower back can really relax. So you may want to add like a bolster under your knees. Make sure your head can really relax. You might want to add a blanket under your head. Deeply close your eyes. And again, let your eyeballs fall deep into the socket, into the pools of color in the eyes. Look within and be with the round hollowness of your belly, the gentle rise and fall of your breath. Send your exhalations down the heavy length of your limbs. Feel that you're exhaling beyond the fingertips and beyond the toes. Sending waves of peace, stillness, and that reminder to pause into the space around you, into the world. Be with your breath and feel how it just starts to breathe you without any effort. And feel it flow exactly where it knows it needs to go. Trusting that the breath knows you well.
further clearing away anything, any residue that might still be here in your body. Letting your breath help you complete this feeling of total surrender, softening from the inside out, letting go. Continue to be here for as long as you can. Enjoy a longer pause if you can. If you know that you need to come back into your day at this moment, you can start to ease your way back into your breath and into your body, into the placement of your bones. The wiggling of your fingers and toes. And eventually rolling over to your right. You might choose eyes staying closed as you rest on your side. We'll guide our way into a seated position with palms and Anjali Mudra at heart center, bowing to further look within to the place of the heart that guided us to our practice. Let's bring the mudra up to our third eye point, showing a desire to continue to pause several times today so that our thoughts can come from a place of love. May we have compassionate and loving thoughts. To the lips, to the throat, for clear and mindful communication. May our words come from love. To the heart space, for clear and loving intentions. May we come from a space that is of our highest good, and therefore the highest good of everyone we touch. We'll honor this closing with all. Oh. My deepest gratitude to each of you. Namaste.